All right, guys, welcome to Caldwell Fitness, and uh, this is another chest workout at Dave Fisher's Powerhouse Gym. We did four sets on the bench press. Uh, my first set was uh, 135 for 15. This is my second working set. It's 185 for 12, and then the set after this, I did 225 for 8, and then my last set was 255 for 4. And... Um, when it comes to bench press strength, I'm lowering body weight. I haven't really been focusing on bench press strength um, for a while, so I wanted to test myself with the 255. And uh, yeah, I've done more in the past, but right now my goal is in strength, is to lose weight, get healthier, get lighter. But if I did want to get strong on the bench again, it wouldn't take me nothing but two or three weeks because I did bench press. I have bench pressed a lot and I have hit some PRs in the past. And so uh, muscle memory just snaps back and my bench press just goes up. All right, so after bench press, we did some incline dumbbell press. We did five sets here. My first two sets are grab the 55 pound dumbbells, and I did 15 reps with that just to warm the upper chest up, get some good mind muscle connection. And then my two sets after that, I grabbed the 65 pound dumbbells and did that for 12 reps just for a little bit of overload. And on my last set, I grabbed the 80s and I did 10 reps. Now when it comes to upper chest, it's not necessarily a power movement, it's more of a building movement. So what you want to do is, you want to start light, get your form down, get your mind-muscle connection down, and then you want to start increasing the weight once those things are set in because it's a big room for injury when you do upper chest. You can get shoulder injuries, you can get a torn uh, upper pec. It's just so much that can happen. So it's very important for you to slow down, get that mind-muscle connection, start light get that form right so you can build the upper chest the right way okay so after the incline dumbbell press we went to the fly machine we did four sets of 15 to 20 reps here really focusing on the stretch and squeeze because the fly is a shaping exercise and it really gets the chest together if you do it right and anytime you're on a fly machine, you don't, you don't want to go too far back or squeeze uh, too far up because if you go too far back, you can possibly get a shoulder injury. And if you come too far up, and um, you can lose contraction on the uh, concentric part of the movement. So anytime you're doing flies, you want to find a good sticking point somewhere in the middle to where you got tension when you go back and you still have tension when you come up for the squeeze part. Um, so yeah, like I said, this is a shaping exercise. There's no need to go heavy on here. We have to train smart. We got to get this chest developed right. So make sure you take the time, choose the proper weight, and focus on the form here. Okay, so after we did flies on a uh, fly machine, we went to this chest press machine right here. We did five sets of 15 reps. And anytime I get on a chest press machine like this, I want to make sure I'm um, doing high reps and focusing on the sticking point, making sure I'm not going too far back to where I'm putting stress on the shoulders and too much stress on the chest. And I'm not squeezing too far up to where I'm losing tension on the chest. Anytime you use a a chest press machine or any type of machine for chest you want to make sure that you get a good sticking point because it's so easy for you to get injured and it's so easy for you to lose tension off the chest so make sure anytime you use any type of incline chest press machine regular or fly machine you maintain a good sticking point all right so for the last exercise we did some body weight push-ups with a perfect push-up we did four sets of 15 really focusing on um, working on the chest because sometimes if you do push-ups and you just pumping them out your triceps might get pumped your shoulders might get pumped and you might not be working your chest that much so anytime I'm doing push-ups I just like to take my time and really make sure I'm focusing mainly on the chest because of course other muscles get incorporated but the overall goal is to make sure the chest is working Alright guys, I know I haven't did commentary in a while and I need some practice, but I just wanted to say uh, thank you for the continual support. The channel is almost at 700 subscribers. We're on the road to 1K. And I want to thank everyone who's been supporting me lately, commenting on my videos, liking them. I really appreciate it guys. It motivates me to put more content out to go harder on YouTube. So yeah, I just want to thank you guys for that. And if you like the video, uh, don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and like always you guys have a good one god bless